Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, hello? What? What? Hello? No. Got a question for you. Of course. Anything for a mysterious voice on a children's toy phone. IPAs. Easy and juicy ones. Uh-huh. I need to know the best one. I can do that, but it's complicated. I, I mean, the answer itself is probably complicated, too. So, can you help? Yeah. I, I'll do it. But, it's gonna take a showdown. I think we can figure this out. And before you go telling me that I did this wrong, no, I don't have every juicy or hazy IPA from Cincinnati. I got a really good selection here though, so cut me some slack, you know? <laughs> this is really difficult. Um, we've got Tropic Flare from Braxton, You Betcha from Sonder, Ju oh, this has a name, I always forget, Monarch, I always just want to call it Juicy IPA. From High Grain, Grainworks, Pound Sign, No Filter, Rheingeist Cloud Harvest, four, 16 lots, Soak City, and then a tall one here, uh, Juicy IPA from Westside. So they are all close to the same canning date. Um, again, I'm not perfect. They're all definitely within a freshness window. Um, they're all fresh, they're all good. So. Let's dive in. I need to sit down at the bar for this. This is going to be uh, kind of my tasters rinsed up. Um, this is going to be a big one. Maybe we should talk first about what makes a juicy or a hazy IPA. It's really kind of simple. I mean, so IPAs, we know West Coast IPAs, they're, you know, big, clear, um, they're bitter, they're hoppy, you know, these are not those. No, these are hoppy beers, but in a very different way. Juicy or hazy IPAs are hazy, so they're not clear like your West Coast IPAs. They're juicy, so they're not bitter like your West Coast IPAs. They're, they're fruity, they're soft, they are extremely approachable for people who think maybe they don't like IPAs. Um, but there's so many different roads you can go down with it. You can add a little bit of lactose to give it some sweetness. Um, it's allowed in the style. You can hop it with whatever you want to hop it with. You typically see a lot of the big citrusy, juicy American hops in them, but that doesn't mean you have to. There's a lot of different avenues you can go down. Um, I'm actually really excited to sit here and try all of these next to each other. It's going to be a long night. Um, I got my snacks ready to go over there, got my water to go over there, got my couch right there if I need to take a nap halfway through. I am ready to go. Let's, let's dive into this. I, I suppose the easiest way here is just to take them one at a time, um, talk about each one, read the cans to you, and then as we get going, we can really start comparing them. It's not blind. Um, I'm... I can't. There's, you know, this is just way too much uh, um, logistically to make that happen. Uh, we're going to start with Westside's Juicy IPA. Um, just says Juicy IPA, India Style Pale Ale, 7% ABV, 61 IBUs. It says brewed with barley, wheat, and oats. This Juicy IPA has a soft, pillowy malt body and restrained bitterness. Pale yellow with a white head. The lightly crackery malt taste is quickly overtaken by aromas and hop flavors, reminiscent of tropical fruit and fresh squeezed citrus thanks to the liberal use of citra and Eldorado hops. Let's dive in. So I anticipate that these are all going to look fairly similar. You know what? Um, let's... Let's pour each one, and then we'll, we'll do this. Next up, Soak City. Um, this is a juicy IPA from 16 lots. 
it is 55 IBUs, 6.4% ABV. It says, bursting with so much tropical fruit flavor that you'll swear there were juicy bits inside. <laughs> Yet all of that juicy goodness comes from a mythical combination of mosaic, citra, and El Dorado. Um, so we're already seeing a trend here with citra and El Dorado hops. Oh, I can smell that one. I, I don't have any uh, data on what hops you really typically see, um, other than just kind of my own anecdotal experience. Uh, all right, Rheingeist Cloud Harvest 4 Unfiltered Juicy IPA. This is 6.5% ABV. Um, it's called Tamarama, Tamarama, I don't know. Uh, rip currents this gnarly usually call for commitment, plunging headlong into the surf, come what may. Luckily, you don't need to be a daredevil to catch this juicy wave, but a sense of adventure certainly helps. Notes of peach, citrus, and coconut. They don't tell me on here what hops it is. I should have looked it up. Sorry. Um, and this glass, I think, is dirty. <laughs> Um, Color-wise, we're, we're in kind of the same ballpark with each one of these so far. Um, this one is definitely hazier. That Soak City, which, to be fair, they are just calling that a juicy IPA. It says nothing about hazy, so <laughs> um, why you're going to see a haze in a lot of these. Um, if it's a juicy IPA, it doesn't have to be hazy. Grainworks, pound sign, no filter. Um, let's see. We are 7.2% ABV on this one. Citra, Mosaic, and Azaka hops give this hazy IPA mango, pineapple, citrus, and tropical fruit flavor, flavors, aromas, with a smooth, juicy finish. There's a little bit of color variation. That is... Um, a little darker. Again, um, not as hazy as I was, would expect. It is uh, pretty, pretty bright and clear. Up next, high grain uh, juicy IPA called Monarch. 6% ABV, hoppy citrus medium body named for the Ohio, Idaho State insect, the source of Idaho Jim hops. And including Citra, this IPA is refreshing notes and flavors of grapefruit, tangerine, and citrus. This is a lot of beer, you guys. There's that one. I also, I'm sorry that I don't have tasting glass, glasses that all match. Um, that's, what are you gonna do? I do have some that are branded properly for the beer that's in them though. Sonder, you betcha. This is Hoppy Hazy New England IPA. Uh, da, da, da. It is 6.5% ABV. It says, a Hoppy Hazy Tropical Flute Explosion with a juicy and soft texture, leaving be bitterness behind. I think that I've drank all of these before, except for I haven't had the West Side. Um... And I don't know if I've had the Rheingeist. Now that is a hazy beer. Looks like somebody has poured orange juice. Um, last but not least, we have Braxton's Tropic Flare. This is a New England style India Pale Ale with Galaxy, Citra, and Mosaic. Um, it is a year round offering from them. It was the first really locally, the first year round. Um, New England hazy juicy IPA that we saw um, it says practice makes hazy perfection this straw yellow hazy IPA was carefully refined over a year of innovation experimentation at Braxton Labs Tropic Flare New England style India Pale Ale is triple dry hopped loaded with over four pounds per barrel of Galaxy Citra and Mosaic hops amplifying the burst of fresh tropical aromas with each sip hefty additions of flaked oats and lactose Provide a smooth, creamy finish 
for a true to style New England IPA crafted to perfection. Goodness, this is a lot of beers. There it is. Also, sorry, some of my glassware has been sitting on a shelf. I rinsed them, but uh, they're not as pretty as they could be. There we go. Um, so just looking at them, clearly there's some differences here. You know, there are some that are definitely hazier than others. Um, the Hubecha is the haziest of the bunch. Um, the, uh, the Monarch is definitely got some, some good haze going on too. And obviously, um, that Rheingeist is, is beautiful. I mean, look at the lacing on the glass here. Um, they've all got a decent head on them. Uh, the Tropic Flare, the, the Sonder, um, this, uh, Grainworks here, Rheingeist, um, they're all really pretty beers. Um, as far as those that are not that hazy, uh, definitely Soak City, Grainworks, uh, don't look like hazy IPAs in the glass. I don't care about that, but if we're talking about hazy, juicy IPAs, that does count towards it. Um, just looks alone, I'm going to say um, that you betcha and the, uh, the Cloud Harvest are definitely the two prettiest ones out of the bunch between color and haziness and a nice pretty white head on it. Um, anyways, well, you, you can see what they look like. You can make your own judgment. Let's taste these. If I'm, if I'm trying to figure out what I think the best one is, which I think I am, I think that's the whole point of this, um, we're going we're gonna to do this by the process of elimination, I think. We're going to knock a couple out. <clears throat> this is not to say these are the worst, but uh, all right, so I'm, if I'm trying to find the best one, First, I'm bumping out uh, Soak City, and I'm bumping out the Pound Sign No Filter just because of the color. I think that they are way too clear. Uh, they don't fit into hazy, juicy IPA. To be fair, Soak City just says juicy. It says nothing about supposed to be hazy. Um, I don't even think it said that in the description. No, so, I, I mean... It's no fault to them. They, they probably nailed exactly what they were going for with the beer. Um, so that's not fair. Um, with that, um, I think we're also going to knock out Tropic Flare and West Side. If one of these was just absolutely um, leaps and bounds better than any of the other ones in front of me, flavor-wise, I might keep it in, but... Um, Good. I mean, it's it's actually really good. It's just up next to these other ones, there is definitely. Hmm. Uh, um, second taste of that one, I'm getting like a really great, uh, almost like a uh, a peach. Um, yeah, a little little note of, of peach. That's. That's tasty. Mm. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, so that leaves us with these three here. The Cloud Harvest, Monarch, and You Betcha. Um, all three fantastic examples of hazy or juicy IPAs. That has to be noted. Um, but... If I have to pick one, which I do, that's the rules. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. 
there is um just a second um the monarch has almost a little little touch of bitterness which i i like um if i was just grabbing one of these to drink that might be my pick because of that but for the style for what we are well, we have arbitrarily decided to judge with. Um, it doesn't stand up because of that little touch of bitterness. Great beer, but um, we, we got to pick one. All right, up next, the final two, uh, Cloud Harvest 4 and You Betcha. Now, I will note with this... Cloud Harvest 4 is a special release. It is not available all the time. The series is, and they are constantly rotating. Um, whereas You Betcha is always available. Gets an extra point there because it's always there. You can, you can go get it. Um, Cloud Harvest 4, um, in theory, once it's gone, it's gone. So, With that being said... I think I prefer the Rheingeist. It's just softer, um, juicier. It's a uh, it's a really really good beer, but man, I mean, this is the prettiest beer um, out of all of these, in my opinion. So that has to factor in too. Oh, this is really really tough. <sighs> Yeah, this is this is difficult. I need a minute. I can't decide. It seems really silly that I would come up with the idea for a contest and then stress myself out over it, the rules and <laughs> the actual deciding of who the winner is. But here I am. Um Cloud Harvest 4 from Rheingeist, or You Betcha from Sonder. Two have entered. Only one can leave. I mean, that's not true. Neither one of them are going to leave, because I'm going to drink them both. But hmm. I don't know if you can see kind of how the particulate in here is kind of floating around. Um, the more I'm looking at them, this uh, You Betcha is just so much prettier. And since the flavor, since, since I can't decide that much, I think I'm actually judging this on looks at the very end. I think You Betcha just nudges it out just a hair compared to the cloud harvest i think that's it i think you betcha is the best hazy juicy ipa out of all of these in cincinnati tell me why i'm wrong <laughs> have at it guys uh, see you later thank you guys